What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Red River Aviation. I hope you guys are on a fantastic day today. And today we have the Gemini Jets Tulsa International Airport update for February 2020. Hope you guys are excited for today's video. If you guys are, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell because you're not going to want to miss any more content coming to the channel, including the expansion that I will talk about when, when we get to it. So anyways, why don't we just dive right in? We'll begin over here with the Southwest section, beginning right here with the Southwest Airlines Boeing 737-700 in the Maryland One paint scheme. He's currently in passengers on board, and he's going to be making the flight out to Dallas Love Field today after arrival from, let's go with Las Vegas. Southwest Airlines Boeing 737-700 in the Harp paint scheme. He's currently pushing back, and he is uh, getting ready for a flight out to, uh, we'll go with Houston Hobby for him after arrival from Phoenix. Uh, so excited to get my Tennessee one. Hopefully it'll be in within the next couple weeks and uh, it'll be here for the next update hopefully for sure. So hope you guys are excited for that. Currently loading up passengers at uh, gate Bravo 5. We have a South Carolina's Boeing 737-700 in Colorado main scheme. Trying to do more of these cool like uh, no or like fuselage shots. Uh, if you guys saw my last video, the um, I'm sorry, the Reno update, you'll know what I'm talking about. Uh, with one world anyways he's currently getting passengers on board and he's going to be making a flight out to uh we're gonna go with mm, good question for him um denver why not colorado one heading back to denver after arrival from um st louis um i did see colorado one in 2018 at tulsa it was pretty cool and um pretty sweet occasion um obviously at tulsa we do have frontier now seasonal service it used to be year round but now it's seasonal service to denver so, uh, Bravo 9's vacant, Bravo 7's been vacant since the Northwest left, or whoever parked their TWA, Continental, whatever. V11's been vacant for a very long time, it's just literally a line like that. A plane that hasn't been in this airport probably ever. United Airlines Boeing 737-800 in the Star Alliance paint scheme, old livery. Uh, he's currently getting passengers on board, and he's going to be making a flight out to, uh, we're going to go with, um... Dem or Houston rather, Houston IH. Um, what would you guys think about these fuselage views as thumbnails possibly? I'll consider it, but really cool to have Star Alliance here. I guess it's kind of one of those once in a lifetime occasion deals, so pretty sweet. Also a new model that I'm very excited to get, or a couple new models, the United Ember 175 and the 819, but hopefully um, they'll come in soon because I'm kind of getting tired of the Aero Classics. United Airbus E319. He's uh, pulling into Bravo 8 after I will from Denver today, and he's going to be making a return flight uh, tomorrow morning. So it's a nice delivery, but Aero Classic still got some work to do, even though I'm still glad to have it. At B6, we have a United Express Mobile and a CRJ-550. He's getting passengers on board, and he's making the return flight back to Chicago O'Hare. These are all we get from United on the Chicago flight now, but, I mean, they're cool. At least we get a new livery once a day, so pretty neat. Focus for me, please. Delta Airlines, McDonald's, M McDonald's Doubles MD-88. He's currently pulling in after arriving off of, um, after landing on 36. Uh, right, and he's going to be taxiing to his gate after arrival from Atlanta. American Eagle number 145, he's currently taxiing as well. He arrived in from Chicago O'Hare, which is a little different. This is normally Ember 175s, but they have been flying some uh, Ember 145s on it. So I thought uh, it's been a long time since these have been in the update, so why don't we bring it back? So, anyways, he's uh, pulling in from Chicago O'Hare, and he's going to be making the return flight. B4 has been vacant uh, since Allegiant moved out or v uh, Vita Air uh, discontinued their services. So just to let you guys know if you didn't. Currently at A3, we have an Allegiant Air, Airbus A320. I decided to bring this back since we haven't had it in an update in a handful of months now. He's currently uh, getting passengers on board and he's going to be heading off to, uh, we'll go with Orlando Sanford today after arrival from Los Angeles. Gate A5, we have an American Eagle Ember 175. He's getting uh, he's uh, getting ready to push back for the American Eagle Ember 145. That'll take his gate. And he's going to be making the return flight back out to Los Angeles today. Um, American Airlines Airbus E319, this is the Allegheny Heritage Retro Paint Scheme. He's getting uh, passengers on board. And he's going to be making a flight out to Dallas-Fort Worth. Obviously, the uh, Dallas flights are, there's quite a few of them. We are that overnight. We have uh, arrival times such as uh, they start at 8 o'clock and then 10 o'clock, uh, 
130, 330, 530, um, 7.30, um, I think we have like eight even, and then 9.30 and 11, so quite a few flights. All fluctuating between 737s, 8.13s, and then the morning flights to Amber 175. And then um, here and there we'll have a couple, I think it's only Saturdays when we have some the majority of the flights on the Amber 175, which if you haven't heard about, oh, I can't talk about the international trip. But yeah, I did include uh, something about uh, American Airlines. So yeah, I'll be nuts that soon. But anyways, here we have the Alligate. Allegheny Harris Dretro, American Airlines, Airbus 819. He's making the flight back to Dallas Fort Worth today. Uh, Sharklet and Fence Winglet, uh, Amer American 819s come in. So uh, just rotational. And look at these Neo size engines we have here, too. It's pretty crazy. But yeah, uh, cool view. Nice plane. Uh, it's the Vista Jet. Hopefully, uh, they'll make like America West and everything, too. Maybe I can make customs. We'll see. But yeah, it's still a nice model. And I'm glad to finally put it back in update. It's been. Uh, I know I did when I got in May, but I can't recall the last update I did, so it's nice to see him back. American Airlines, Boeing 737-800 in the uh, new livery, or the current livery, rather. Uh, he's heading out to Dallas-Fort Worth as well. Uh, like I said, just depends on when these babies come in, but yeah. Uh, A11 always stays empty. Southwest Airlines, Boeing 737-700 in Triple Crown, one paint scheme. He also hasn't appeared in a long time. Anyways, he's uh, going to be heading out to... Um, I think I'm missing somewhere, but I can't put my finger on it. Um, Lovefield, Dallas, St. Louis, um, I'm sorry, Dallas, Houston Hobby, St. Louis, um, Las Vegas, Phoenix, Denver, St. Louis, or, um, they're going to be starting seasonal service to Baltimore in the summer, so I'll have a couple more flights, but, um, we'll first say that he's going, um, out to... Denver as well after I was from Dallas Love Field earlier, I suppose, since I don't have anything else. Um, let's head over here. I'm super excited to talk about the expansion. I'll talk about that in a moment. So, But uh, we'll get everything over. Or actually, you know what? We'll talk about it. So this is the first half of the Tulsa expansion that I'm super excited to talk to you guys about. So, yeah, this is uh, it. I've wanted to do the expansion for a long time. I've talked about it in a couple updates, and here's the first part. So... The, uh, the runway, the terminal is at a 45 degree angle, so it looks like that. Um, so the runway is going to come out like this. Uh, taxiway goes down to about 88, which I made a little longer, but it's okay. And then it goes, um, this is all kind of scaled down a little too, by the way. Then we go hor or parallel to the runway, which will lead us to the threshold, runway 36 right. And then um, taxiway and then the runway. And I just finished these markings last night so I could have this video ready. So we have the whole taxiway part over here. We have that cargo gate, which is UPS. And then we have uh, the beginning of the runway. Um, oh, FedEx is over here. I do want to make that at some point, but not right now. By next update, and yes, the next update, you will see the whole runway done. And then that's all the wood that I need for it. And then we'll have the big board underneath. That's going to be more runway. And then on the right side, it's going to be the American Airlines maintenance hangar. Which is going to have a lot of cool stuff, so a lot more stuff is going to be coming in. So make sure to turn on your notification bell and not miss out on the next update. And then we'll have, uh, I have a couple boards over there that's going to go along there. And I'm going to represent the road and the fine parking garage, which I'm super excited about because I um, finally got the parking garage ordered. So I'm excited for that. I also, I also ordered a stand, so it's pretty cool stuff. So yeah, we'll talk about this more towards the end. But anyways, let's continue with the update. Right here, loading up at 810. Here we have an American Airlines Boeing 737-800 in the Reno Air Heritage paint scheme. He's currently getting passengers on board, and he's going to be making a flight out to Charlotte Doubles today. One of the more popular routes out of Tulsa, of course, carrying about 74,000 passengers a year now. AA8's been vacant for a long time. They removed the jet bridge back in, man, I want to say it was, um, I have no clue. I'm not even going to try, but nevertheless, um, AA8's sitting there. Delta um, Connection, Ember 170, pushing back. Uh, he's going to be making a flight out to uh, Salt Lake City today for him um, on the return flight back. Let's actually see if we can get some decent lighting here since the sun's trying to peek off in and out through this weird cloud that we have. I'll give you guys a look here in a moment. There we go. Delta Ember 170, uh, pushing back with service to Salt Lake City. 
Delta uh, Boeing 717. He's currently loading up and he's heading back to Atlanta. I did include this because they do fly in and I did want to keep the MD-88, but um, get this in as well. So that's why they're both in. But yeah, these fly three or four times a day during this time of year. So that's why it's here. Far over there, we have Delta Connect Channel 170 coming on the one daily Minneapolis flight uh, since uh, heading over to the M175 and one daily, so it's okay. And let me know what you guys think of the grass. I think it looks pretty gosh darn good. Uh, FedEx Express Boeing 757 Freighter. He's taxiing over to his ramp after arrival. It would normally be on that side, but I didn't want to include him, so kind of have to make do with what we have after arrival from, uh, let's go with um, Memphis, and he's going to head out to today. Let me know what you guys think of the cargo terminal. There's going to be a road back here, and it's kind of going to come off the terminal. So I'm going to try to get a riser or something. We'll see. But one day, hopefully, we can have the whole arrival deal back here. But this piece hasn't been done in this piece, so it's not bad. We got this board done, though, featuring the UPS Boeing 767. That's 300. These don't really come in right now, but uh, when it did, it came in from Louisville. So we will send them off to Louisville today. Worldwide Services Synchronizing the World of Converse. Or Converse, yeah. So... Pretty sweet. So I got all this grass done as well. Um, and then onto the threshold. Right here, lining up for takeoff on only 36 right. We have a Southwest Airlines Boeing 737-800. How did I include five Southwest? Um, this wasn't supposed to be here. Uh, but I was making this real quick at lunch. I was came home for lunch so I could get this ready. But I completely, I brought in Triple Crown 1 because it hasn't been an update in a while. And I completely forgot to take Mr. 800 or one of the um, other specials out. So... Anyways, he's uh, getting ready, pulling the runway 36 right. He's going to head back to Dallas Left Field, delayed after arrival from uh, Phoenix. So, yeah. And then um, we have all this grass here. And then we have the really cool um, arrows pointing onto the runway, which these are done. Besides this one, they're all measured out equivalently. So, sorry about this one. I didn't really have a good rubric when I started this. And then, unfortunately, um, it's not that big of a deal, but... The uh, red paint pen bled so bad that it messed up pretty bad on there. But I was able to kind of fix it with the yellow, so it's okay. It's not bad. I'm not too frustrated with it. So, anyways, that will um, get it for the models. But we still have a lot to discuss here. So, anyways, um, grass isn't horrible. It's not great, though. Um, maybe a project the redo at some point but i'm going to try to make the new board the best as possible top board is the runway as you saw i kind of marked it up the bottom board is the hanger and stuff so i'm going to kind of take a break for like only a week or so so i can finish up the new airport i only have like three gates left the taxiway and the grass so i'm really excited to debut for you guys so if you guys are excited for that uh make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell and like this video too as well because you're not going to want to miss out on any content coming up uh, make sure you go join my Discord page. The link's in the description. There's a lot of awesome stuff, and we're even going to have exclusive vlogs and things on there too. Uh, so if you do want to see the exclusive content and just uh, come chat with me and the fellow A geeks, make sure to go uh, join the Discord page. And please go follow me on Instagram at Red River Aviation. So uh, we just had a major pull on the. Um, live stream flight that we're going to have um, for this week so or this weekend. It'll be Saturday or Sunday. I've not decided yet. So you're going to want to turn on your notification bell to come join me in the live stream. We had over 70 votes, and I hope to see as many of you guys there as possible. So, uh, yeah, it'll be a Southwest Airlines Boeing 737-700 uh, hopper flight around Texas. So I hope to see you guys there with me on the live stream. I'm trying to get the internet fixed. That's actually what the exclusive vlogs about is me calling the Wi-Fi guy. The reason it's not going to be posted publicly is because it's not aviation related, but there was a handful of people in the live stream that wanted to see it as a exclusive video. So we are making an exclusive video. So go join discord so you can see that and go like that up, like this video up. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, or that already came out. I'm sorry. That already came out. I'm pre-recording this like three days in advance. So um, yeah, but still, uh, hope you guys like the expansion. It looks really good. It took a long time to do those, um, just to measure out the type, the uh, piano keys. So, hope you guys like that. Um, and then maybe we can do the expansion over there one day. I'll see. It's hard to cut these triangles out. It didn't really go so well, obviously. When I put that board, uh, it looks, it's kind of like that. It has a pretty decent gap in it, but it's still nice. And it's the airport's looking really good. May redo the windows and or. 
it's okay. I mean, it's mainly Pensacola that really needs the re windows redone, but the terminal is kind of starting to fade color, so we'll see. Um, and then the building here, I can't confirm what it looks like. Um, it's n probably not black, but I for kind of forgot what it looks like, so it's not bad, but it's pretty similar to Hearts and is right there, though. And then, yeah, um, I'm going to try to include some of the road, but for sure the parking garage is going to go about right here. And then we're going to the runway, uh, which will have the taxiway over there, um, the exit points, if there is any right there. And at that end, we're going to have the hangar, which that means a lot of American heavies and stuff are going to be flying in. I hope you guys are excited to finally see that in this airport because it's been way too long. We get all kinds of stuff American maintenance-wise, 8 through 21 Neos, 757, 767, 777, 77s, you name it, we probably got it. So... It's exciting time right now, guys, and I hope you guys are excited for the next upcoming videos coming to Red River Aviation. So make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. You're not going to want to miss it. Um, next Monday will be storyline update, so I hope you guys are excited for that, followed by Dallas on Friday to wrap up the month, and then the live streams, of course. So um, come join me in the live streams. It's super fun. They do get pretty extensive, but... Um, yeah, if you do want to watch them back, they're on my channel, and um, I always will put uh, stuff in the description, like uh, links to playlists for trip reports, uh, Tulsa updates, and um, anything or any updates and uh, anything else. So make sure to check the description. Check, leave a comment. Uh, what do you think of the um, the new expansion? Do you guys like it? Is it bad? Uh, what should I do? Should I uh, work on maybe uh, redoing the grass at some point or? What all I can do better for the next board, I'll be taking your guys' advice. Should I make it more detailed? What do you guys think? And, um, yeah, besides that, um, new models will be coming soon, hopefully. Uh, obviously, with the China Adel, for now, they're delayed, and there's going to be no March releases. So, hope you guys understand all that. But, yeah, uh, make sure to go join Discord. You're missing out on exclusive content. I want. We already have, like, 35 members, so... Let's get it rocking and uh, go follow me on Instagram so you don't miss out on the votes. And come join me in live stream, guys. They're super fun. If you made it to this point, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoy my content. Uh, there's a lot more to be seen. So there's cards that are going to be coming up and also in screen titles if you'd like to go watch that. I would really appreciate it. So a um, lot of things coming. You're not going to want to miss it. This is our year. Let's go get to 1,000 subscribers. We're at, at like 840 right now. So up to you guys and i want the best for us and to just keep a growing and just to be one of the biggest channels here in our community here of aviation so i really appreciate you guys hope you guys are really enjoying all the content i'm doing i really enjoy making it for you guys and um for tulsa a lot of stuff's coming next update's going to be huge with the next new expansion the parking garage will probably be here at that point so i mean it's going to be epic so you guys are not going to want to miss it it's just going to be a whole different realm for this airport it's gonna be like double the size so like this video up guys subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell i really want to thank you guys so much for watching this video thank you to um everybody that's helped support and um also to everybody in discord that talks to me on a daily basis i really appreciate you guys and i hope you guys enjoyed being in there so you'll join me in there and uh, share this video please Let's get to 1,000 subscribers. Share with your uh, friends, family, and fellow Abe Geeks. If you share on your Instagram story and at me at Red River Aviation, you will be receiving a shout out from me. So I highly recommend you do that. You're not going to get a shout out from my Instagram page, which has over 12,000 followers, and we're working on 13. So go follow that. And yeah, uh, let me know what I can do better in the next update. If you guys want more detailed information on the flights or anything along the lines of that, uh, let me know. Uh, Divergence or whatever. But uh, we're doing pretty great things here, and I'm uh, very happy of uh, where we're at. The next expansion, I'm telling you guys, you're going to want to turn on the notification bell and subscribe right now if you haven't already because this expansion is going to be epic, and um, there's going to be a lot more to tell with these updates, and it's going to be a really fun video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys all have a fantastic rest of your days. And until next time, Red River Aviation is signing off. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and turn on the notification bell so you're always notified when new videos are coming to the channel. There's a link in the description for my Discord page and I highly recommend if you want early access to videos, information, announcements, and uh, just to talk to me and other A geeks in the conversations tab. If you just want to go join, I'd really appreciate it. So the link's in the description for that. And please go follow me on Instagram at Red River Aviation so you can see daily aviation photos and also catch up to date on what's going on on the stories. 
And uh, please comment your feedback, what you thought about the video, and please share with your friends, family, and fellow ape geeks. If you share on your Instagram story and at me, at Red River Aviation, I'll make sure to give you a shout out. So I highly recommend you do that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, Red River Aviation is signing off.